Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to talk about engine coolant, why there's so many different colors, what they mean, which ones you can mix, uh, the three main types, and that kind of thing. So we'll go ahead and get started here. First of all, uh, the thing you want to know about uh, coolant over just using water is there are reasons you need to use coolant. Uh, there's several things that make coolant uh, far superior than water, including uh, the boiling ranges. It's going to uh, boil later on in the heat range. Uh, also, uh, that helps being in a pressurized system. Uh, it's also going to keep uh, the the water or the, in the coolant from expanding, and that's a problem. In the winter, the coolant system can literally expand if it freezes, if it was all water, and it could literally crack the block and every component of the cooling system so there are reasons as well why you want to have coolant and not use only water okay and another thing about the coolant is it's formulated to prevent rust and corrosion it's going to uh, also foam less than water would be if it's kind of uh, stirring around so it's designed for the cooling system specifically and we'll get into more of those details a little later uh, as we're talking about water too, we want to make sure that you know whenever you use water, you want to use distilled water and uh, pretty much you're doing that at a 50-50 blend. So 50% coolant, 15% distilled water. And uh, the reason why you want distilled water is because tap water contains magnesium, calcium, and hardness ions. And uh, so you get all kinds of deposits in your radiator that uh, aren't aren't only going to ruin the cooling system itself but could also block it so uh, that's where you see a lot of rust and other problems like that and then that flowing through this the system really hurts the cooling system uh, also coolant acts as a lubricant to the water pump and some of the uh, seals and everything that's in there so uh, you really want to make sure that uh, you're using coolant for that reason too uh, some people want to just go right to adding 100% coolant concentrate and that does not work. You do need it to be 50-50 or it will not cool properly. Uh, there's also different coolants like ELC, extended life coolants, and LLC, long life coolants. Um, but uh, anyway, that's uh, kind of the, the nutshell here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into the three different uh, main types of coolant, which will then bring in all the different colors and everything that you see. Now the first one that most people are familiar with from the color is the green coolant. Now the thing is there's actually two. There's a modern one and then there's an older one. So the we'll talk about the older one here first and it is known as an inorganic acid technology or IAT. And so that was used from the 1920s to the 1990s. It was pretty much what everybody had used and it had silicates and uh, phosphate corrosion inhibitors and so basically it was designed to help with the radiator and uh, make sure that you weren't going to eat away at uh, certain things. Uh, but uh, this kind of coolant didn't last very long. It should be changed every two years or 30,000 miles. And uh, so again, it's typically in the older cars up in t from the 20s to the 1990s and more domestic style. So you're talking GM, Ford, and Chrysler. Okay, so the next one is Organic Acid Technology, or OAT, and this is a very common one throughout the whole world, and the main color is orange, so you've probably seen this in a lot of GM vehicles, is the Dex Cool, and uh, so basically this one does not contain silicates or phosphates, um, it does contain corrosion inhibitors, that help it last a lot longer. In fact, in this case, you can go up to 135,000 miles or 10 years, so it's a very long-term one. And uh, it's used in some of the older, like mid-90s uh, GM cars, but uh, also a lot of the newer ones. It's used a lot in GM, Volkswagen, Honda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, and Toyota. Okay, and finally, the third main type is the Hybrid Organic Technology, or HOAT, and a hybrid is a combination of things. Uh, so, uh, in this one, this is what you'll see as uh, primarily yellow and sometimes turquoise. Uh, on my Mustang, it shows yellow right here is what to put in it, and I think a lot of people confuse it for green. And Ford also had a gold version that was kind of like a higher mileage one too, an upgraded one that people also get confused with. But uh, anyway, these ones are yellow or turquoise, and so this is found in Ford, Chrysler, and a lot of European cars. Uh, also, 
when you get into the turquoise one, you're going to have BMW, Volvo, Tesla, Mini, and a few other cars. So this one is silicates and organic acids, and uh, it's NAP free. Now there are a few subcategories of the HOAT, and so one is the PHOT, which is uh, phosphated HOAT, and so it's going to have phosphates and organic acids. This one's going to be uh, primarily you're going to see pink colors and then also blue. And so these cars are going to be Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, and other Asian vehicles. And then another subcategory would be the Psi OAT or the silicated HOAT. So that has silicates and organic acids and uh, that's going to be a purple colored one and you'll see a lot of this in Mercedes-Benz, Audi, VW, Porsche and some of those others. Okay, so now let's talk about mixing them or rather let's talk about not mixing them because uh, with the differences of these chemical compounds, uh, once you start mixing them, you actually get the worst of both worlds. So, uh, in other words, once you put the OAT in to an older radiator, um, you could have the radiator start to deteriorate and come apart because you have lead solder on some of the older radiators. And so the OAT does not mix well with the conventional. Okay, and also, so by mixing those two together, like I said, the worst of both worlds, now it doesn't last as long either. So now you have to change it every two years. So uh, don't go mixing them together. It's really not a good idea. Okay, so which ones can you mix? Now, Prestone is the pretty much the only exception here or a similar coolant. There are coolants made that say all makes, all models, and all colors, and so if you see that, then you can mix it, and that's mainly for topping it off if you're just a little bit low. If you do end up uh, changing the, uh, the whole color, you wanna drain everything out of it and start over. You really don't wanna mix them more than like a 50-50. It's gonna look weird, and uh, but uh, I mean, technically you can, but uh, the best idea is to drain it completely and uh, then start over fresh, either with all new coolant um, or the different color coolant uh, as well. But uh, you just wanna remember that uh, there are certain colors that uh, should not be mixed if it's those other silicates. So if you do get the pressed on one that says you can mix it all, uh, technically you can. But again, you want to flush the whole system out. Run. What you should do is really fill the car full of uh, distilled water only, run it for a few minutes, then drain that all out and repeat that process a few times, and then uh, add that 50-50 mix of coolant with distilled water. And so sometimes that press stone already comes mixed, sometimes you're buying just the concentrate. So anyway, uh, that's just a quick rundown on coolant. Uh, there are a lot of uses. It's going to help keep the car from overheating. It's going to help keep everything from uh, expanding when it freezes. It's going to help keep uh, things from foaming. It's going to help uh, definitely cut down on any kind of contaminants, any rust. Uh, any of the pitting for the aluminum because uh, you know in the cooling system that's going through the cylinder heads It's going through the block uh, if you have, especially if you have an aluminum block But most cars uh, are running with at least uh, aluminum cylinder heads and so uh, you know You definitely don't want to just run tap water. That's going to put rust and contaminants and uh, all kinds of junk inside of your system. So that's what's in the tap water. You got chlorine and uh, so there's all kinds of things in there. So that's why you, you want to make sure you're using coolant and distilled water and the, the perfect combination. Uh, if it is a very cold winter where you live, then you do want to also switch and maybe do 60% uh, coolant and 40% water on your mixture, but uh, don't go uh, really any more than that. So anyway, uh, put in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, one final note is on my Cobra. Uh, you'll see that it has an expansion tank for the supercharger. It has its own cooling system, and I've had questions on that uh, because some of the Cobras uh, have the uh, Motocraft Gold that came with it, and so they were wondering if it's okay to mix that. And personally, I, I wouldn't unless you're adding the uh, Prestone. Uh, that's all makes, all models, all colors, everything. That should be okay. But the best overall uh, situation is if you drain everything out and start fresh. So Okay, a really good rule of thumb is just put the same color in that the car came with initially and just keep, keep the same one. Um, and that way you're going to be protecting your car, the way it was designed, the way the radiator is designed, what components the radiator has. 
and uh, all in all if you switch over to like the Prestone where it's all makes all models you're covered on all so you should be good there but uh, at any rate that's just uh, the advice that I'd give you so anyway uh, I have some other videos on changing radiators burping cooling systems all that I'll put the links to that in the description but uh, anyway thanks for watching and put any questions in the comments thanks guys